bitch, oh, we got bulletproof glass now Bitch, I turned up, I feel like I want a Grammy I speak in Guapanese, I know he can't out on Hey yo, it's your boy Atomic coming at you with another Rogue Company video and today we are going to be talking about who I think is the best rogue in the entire game. Do keep in mind that I do know that everybody has their own certain play style so a certain character might fit them better than other characters but believe me after I talk about Scorch today you are going to for sure change your mind and even agree that she is one of the best rogues in the entire game game so the first thing we're going to talk about are her two primary weapons that you can equip on this rogue and that is the slc submachine gun and the arbitrator shotgun i'm gonna go ahead and tell you up front you do not need to even worry about the smg the shotgun is what makes this character one of the best in the game so this arbitrator shotgun is a brutal two shot shotty with each pellet in the shotgun doing 12.5 damage the fire rate's pretty decent and it's got a range of 6.5 as the game goes on there are three tiers to this shotgun the first tier will allow you to increase the reload speed the second tier will increase hip fire accuracy and reduces the bloom reticle or the reticle bloom and the third tier will increase the damage range all the way up to 8.5 even without any of these upgrades the reason why this shotgun is so good as you guys are going to see in the clips in the background you can literally walk around and one tap people on the map which is insane and you don't even have to have you know incredibly good aim just that single one tap and even if you only hit them for like 40 50 you have a second bullet to put them in the grave i can't even explain it bro there's no way that this shotgun and this weapon and this hero is not the best in the game especially on defense i will say on offense you got to use your pistol a little bit more but on defense if you just sit there and hold close corners all those tight spaces there's literally no way you get outgunned by anybody else in the game so you might be thinking to yourself well let's say she has a very good shotgun how are you going to get close enough to your opponent to deal enough damage with that shoddy without getting fried that's where her secondary weapon and her first ability come into play so her secondary weapon is the is the a3 salvo which is a versatile burst fire pistol and you want to pair this with her first ability once you spawn into the game which is overheat for a period of time your firearms and melee attacks will set enemies on fire dealing damage over time you do not need to use this with the shotgun you can if you want to you know but i just feel like it's a little bit of an overkill you want to save that for your very first kill of the round with the pistol so you can burn them deal even more damage and then take them out once they're dead you want to push up to your opponent's body take whatever their primary weapon is and now you have an ar or even an smg and you can pair that with your brutal shotgun in close range and you'll literally be winning every single fight if you position yourself well enough absolutely insane and then we're going to talk about her gadgets as well the incendiary grenade can be used in two different ways you can use it to zone off your opponents or if you can find someone like hiding behind a wall you can throw it it'll start to burn them really quickly they have to move and then once they get up and move you put the bullets in their head i mean it's just actually insane her loadout and then her perks her perks are really good too the perks that i like to use the most i would say is her armor you can gain an additional 25 armor this is very good because every time you you spawn into the into the game after a death you get that extra 25 armor so if you pair that plus 25 health with the pistol on your first kill and her ability to do damage with fire you always get that very first kill you always get your opponent's primary weapon and now you've got that to pair it with your shotgun she also had this other ability which is 10,000. it's called replenish where you down an enemy it reloads your currently equipped weapon and restores ammunition this is very very good for her shotgun because you only have two shots in there anyways regardless you're gonna get a one pump but the fact that you can just go in there bam bam down reload bam bam you can just literally go on a kill streak if you catch a bunch of people sitting in the same room she also has another ability called nimble hands which increases the weapon swap and reload speed this is very good in case you are a little bit further away from your opponent you tap them twice with the shotgun you don't get the kill you're able to quickly swap over to your secondary weapon a couple taps into them and they're going to be dead there as well the other three abilities i don't use as much because usually the game will already end by then but you have the ability or the option for tenacity which where this one um you take reduced damage from the explosives if you're going up against a team that has a lot of grenades um especially that dima that dima main thrown in the the, the gray the semtex the stickies uh you want to use this ability uh her other ability is evade after being damaged increased movement speed for a short duration that one's pretty good as well but there's just a lot of other things you could buy instead of buying that specific ability and then she has berserker you gain the ability to reload while sprinting i personally will never ever buy that ability <laughs> i mean we have, we have to go all the way to like round 10 
You know what I'm saying? Before I even get that. She does have another grenade. It's called the EMP grenade. I guess it depends on your, the, the, the players you're going up against. Maybe they have a barricade on spawn or something like that. You want to buy this. It does damage to the equipment and prevents targets from using their abilities and gadgets for a duration. Very good at helping your team retake a site if the entire enemy team is sitting there. And I mean, just overall, I cannot think of a better rogue in the game. So in the comment section down below, let me know who your favorite rogue is. We'll be doing a lot of character reviews to see who is actually one of the best in the game. But there's no way that Scorch is not an S tier rogue. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and I'll catch you in the next one.